welcome to Stuff Works Explained. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. Watch other videos that you have done on various topics. Leave your comment, like and share. In this video, we will be doing another uh, video on Tanzania SGR. Tanzania SGR is turning out to be one of the most talked about project not just in uh, Tanzania but also in the whole of East African region and Africa. The project is worth emulating uh, for the route it has taken, the speed at which it has been constructed and so many other benefits that it has brought. It's a project that will have one major impact not just in Tanzania but also the whole of East African uh, region. So it is, it is worth looking at this project and uh, today we'll be looking at a section, uh, the last section towards Lake Victoria, the Isaka Mwanza section. As we know, Tanzania SGR is being constructed in lots of phases, with the first lot uh, being uh, from Dar es Salaam uh, uh, all the way to Morogoro. This section is 98% complete and soon it will start operation. Uh, it has been set for uh, commencement of uh, operation by July 2024. Then we have uh, the Morogoro Makutupora section, which is also uh, has progressed. Uh, it's almost 98%, and uh, to, together with uh, the first lot, this lot uh, might start operations uh, by July 2024. Then from there, we have the Makutupora Tabora section, which has also made some progress. Uh, being constructed by Yepi Mackenzie, uh, a consortium. And this section also has also made some progress. Then we have the uh, the other section, Lot 4, uh, which uh, from Tabora all the way to Isaka. And then we have a section, one spa that uh, goes to Kigoma. Uh, this, is the spa that, or this is the section that will uh, also proceed to Burundi. Uh, from Isaka, we have uh, a section that is, that is uh, going all the way towards Lake Victoria region, uh, Isaka Mwanza. So this is the section that we'll be talking about. We'll be looking at the progress that has been made. We'll be looking at the reason why this section, why was this section uh, given priority? Uh, where we had a situation where other sections were left out. And uh, this section was given priority. It started earlier than uh, lot 3 and lot 4, and even lot 5. So we'll be looking at uh, possible reasons as to why this happened. We'll also be looking at the benefits that this project will bring uh, to the Mwanza region, uh, Shinyanga region, and also uh, the whole of uh, Lake Basin, uh, Lake Victoria Basin region. So Isaka Mwanza section of the Tanzania SDR is a crucial, uh, crucial part of uh, this ambitious infrastructure development plan. The section is 341 kilometers and it stretches all the way from Isaka, which is in the uh, Shinyanga region, uh, to Mwanza on the shores of Lake Victoria. As far as progress is concerned, as at uh, November 2023, the construction of this section was reported to be over 44% complete. Uh, the project is expected to be fully uh, completed by 2024. So it's, uh, 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 this is an ambitious uh, uh, target to complete 56% uh, within one year. We'll, uh, we'll see whether this can happen. The cost of uh, constructing this project is around $1.3 to 1 billion US dollars and uh, this project is being undertaken by a consortium of Chinese companies. We have China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation CCECC and China Railway Construction Company CRCCC. So this, this section is being constructed by a different consortium. The first four sections uh, are being done by a Turkish company uh, which is led, uh, I mean which is leading this consortium. Uh, E.P. Mackenzie and Mortal Angel. Um, as far as economic benefits of this project are concerned, uh, this section of SGR is expected to have a significant impact on Tanzania economy, where it will boost trade, create new jobs, 
and also it will improve connectivity between Tanzania and its neighboring countries being Rwanda, Burundi, DRC and even Uganda and some section of Kenya. The Isaka Mwanza section includes 249 kilometers of mainline track and 92 kilometers of which are passing loops. The trains will be able to travel at speeds of 160 kilometers per hour and remember this, this section is also electrified just like other lots. The construction of these began in March 2021 uh, in March uh, in, 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 sometimes in March and it's being carried out as we have said by two uh, Chinese companies CCECC and CRCCC as of uh, January 2024 major progress has been made on several aspects of this uh, section we have a uh, track laying having been completed for over 150 kilometers we have construction of 18 stations which is underway and seven are uh, already completed we have that seven bridges and uh, 1234 culverts which have been built the Isaka Mwanza section as we said earlier has been prioritized over other phases of the Tanzania uh, SGR and this as many comment commentators have said uh, is interesting and several factors have been um, listed as to have influencing uh, or to have influenced this decision one of them as many have said is strategic location uh, we have connectivity and trade uh, Mwanza being a major city on the shores of Lake Victoria which is a key transport hub connecting Tanzania to neighboring countries like Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi and uh, even Kenya this makes it a deal for facilitating regional trade and boosting economic activity the SGR section uh, significantly improves accessibility for goods and passengers from neighboring countries to the port of Dar es Salaam and beyond. Then this region is rich in minerals. The, the area around Bwanza is rich with minerals like gold, diamond, nickel, among others. The SGR can significantly reduce transportation costs of these resources, making mining operations more profitable and potentially attracting uh, more investment we have uh, uh, lake victoria access where the connection to mwanza allows the sgr to leverage the transportation potential of lake victoria ferries can connect mwanza to ports in uganda and kenya creating a mat moldo transport system across the region then we have uh, the economic development justification where existing f uh, infrastructure in mwanza uh, can be can be upgraded so upgrading this section could utilize existing facilities potentially easing construction challenges uh, compared to uh, other sections then we have the industrial potential where the SDR connection is expected to spur the industrial development around Mwanza and Shinyaga regions and this improved transport access attracts business and facilitates the mo movement of raw materials and finished goods then there is a political consideration which has been most quoted Mwanza and Shinyanga are politically significant regions. Prioritizing their development through the SDR could have garnered political support for the project and benefited the ruling party in those areas. Former President John Magufuli, a hometown Chato, is also located in the Shinyanga region, which Isaka section, uh, Isaka Mwanza section of the SDR passes through. So, this his personal interest in the project uh, probably likely played a role in the uh, prioritization of these uh, section and there is evidence to support this so the early focus on Mwanza Isaka section uh, where it was one of the first phases started in, so in fact the third phase uh, in, uh, in, uh, in starting of this railway even before feasibility studies of the other phases were completed so this suggests a strong push from Magufuli's administration to prioritize on this section uh, Magufuli visited the construction site several times and uh, publicly emphasized the importance of this project for Tanzania economic development. Uh, some critics, notably political opponents, accused Magufuli of directing resources towards his home region at the expense of other parts of the country. The terrain, there could also be uh, the possibility that the terrain between Isaka and Mwanza might be more conducive for construction compared to other sections, allowing for faster progress in this region. So what has been the progress as we saw earlier uh, as at November 2023 20, the 
this section of the railway was 44% complete. So there were, there were several challenges that uh, probably could have derailed this and uh, probably it could be having a higher progress. The, the rainy season, um, this could have uh, affected this progress, but, but that progress, is, uh, as, as, as we, we, we mentioned, is uh, pretty good. And uh, it's comparing to what uh, the Chinese companies were doing in Kenya. They, they build the, the two sections that are uh, in Kenya at, uh, at a high speed, and even they completed before the scheduled time. However, the two Tanzania, uh, two companies who are building the other sections have delayed uh, some sections. And uh, one of the reasons that had been quoted is uh, the company, Yepi McKenzie, is facing some, some uh, uh, financial challenges. So we'll also, it will also be interesting to compare how this section is built in terms of speed and also uh, in terms of quality with other sections, being that this section is being constructed by a different contractor. So the current progress is an indication that the project will be completed according to the contract agreement. The government is releasing funds to the contractor on time, uh, who is work all the time and the project will be completed quickly. Uh, that's the statement that was made by uh, one of the government officials in Tanzania. The main work was the construction of the hams, which stands at 80%, involving laying a railway work of about 24 kilometers and installing poles for the power connection. Other systems that work parallel with the uh, ridge uh, were also underway, including planting of grass to the areas that have been completed. Equally, the construction of 606 bridges for the passage of uh, electricity and communication systems, as well as animals and human beings, cars for the older trees have also been progressing rapidly. The government has expressed satisfaction with the pace of the construction, stating that the contract of the project uh, is progressing well with the work as per the contract. The government has stressed its commitment to ensuring that the contractor submits a certificate of payment to the table and clearance will be done on time. According to the government officials, the contractor is expected to hand over the project uh, probably this year in 2024. So what are the benefits of this project in the region and also to the whole of East African uh, region? It is expected that the completion of this project will open the central corridor and enable it to grow economically, especially connecting the lake district regions to the neighboring DRC, Burundi, Rwanda, Uganda, and also Kenya, with the Shinyaga region being a link between the lake zone and central zone, as well as the neighboring countries. The project has changed uh, the region completely. We have we have, an, we have the mining areas, we have the special economic zones, especially the Buzuangi uh, mining uh, special economic zone which are being constructed in this area and uh, these point out to uh, the impact that this project will have our, when it's completed. So other significant impact uh, to the Tanzanian economy including uh, boosting regional trade by connecting Mwanza uh, which is a major port on the Lake Victoria with Isaka uh, which is a key transportation hub in western Tanzania. We have a stimulation of economic growth uh, through creation of new jobs business in construction, transportation, and uh, logistic sectors. We have improved transportation, which will provide faster and more uh, efficient way to move goods and people between Mwanza and uh, Isaka. We have uh, the reduction in uh, road reliance, and this uh, will reduce wear and tear of Tanzanian uh, road network. We have a uh, promotion of tourism, which will make it easier for tourists to reach uh, the western region of the Tanzania. Uh, especially uh, the lake region as well as the whole of that region. So overall, the Mwanza Isaka SGR is a major infrastructure project which is expected to have significant positive impacts on the Tanzanian economy and development. And the fact that it is progressing well, uh, being at 44%, uh, uh, it means that the project will be completed on time. And given that it's being done by a different uh, contractor, uh, we will yeah, we'll, we'll also be able to compare. So the, this probably was a, a, a risk mitigation. So giving all the contracts to one company could have been overwhelming, as we have seen, that the company is uh, already having some financial challenges. So by giving this section to different contractor, uh, it is a risk management for the Tanzania government because uh, the pro if, if, if one contractor runs uh, the whole project, then it might risk 
uh, derailing, especially if the contractor gets into financial difficulties, as it has, has happened to Yapi Mackenzie, uh, uh, the Turkish company which is contracting the first four lots of the Tanzania's SGR. So thank you for reaching this far. If it's your first time here, please subscribe to this channel. Also, remember to uh, like, share, and comment. So welcome for more videos in future. Thank you.